Well, good evening and welcome to the narrowboat that James built. Hope you're all very well, staying safe. Um, I thought I'd take this opportunity on the weekend to talk you through some of the planning I've now got to do on the boat. So, um, and I realised that I haven't really um, talked you through the layout. And that's primarily because I don't really know what it is. Um, but I think I've worked it out. So um, I'll show you the plans. So, as you know, she's a 43 foot boat, um, but the internal measurements are, um, for the cabin anyway, go up to 21 foot. That's where that steel bulkhead is in the boat. There's only one, it's pretty much empty apart from that. So that's that wall there, which is pretty much, well, it's three foot at the moment, but will need to be extended. Um, and here is the bow bedroom. I'm not really focusing on there because, to be honest, there's quite a lot of space because of the extension it's had. I don't really need to worry about the space there. The areas I do need to concentrate is on the 21 foot of saloon space, cabin space, which has got to incorporate everything. And um, as I said, this is not a done deal. This is still kind of work in progress, but I'll talk you through the plan nonetheless. Um, and you'll see that I've I'm old school. I've kept it in. Uh, this is this is imperial. So um, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one foot, six foot wide. I just think like that because the boat's six, six foot wide. It, I just think everything on a narrow boat is is it is in the old-fashioned way. Um, so galley kitchen here so it's going for what they call a reverse layout which basically means you've got the galley at the back at the stern so you walk in the back doors here and you've got the galley here which is the kitchen that's the boat name for a kitchen and reverse layout means then you've got the bedroom at the bow so that's what that that's what that is anyway so I'm going for a reverse layout primarily because it works that way because of the fit of the boat but also my I've got a stern, I've got a cruiser stern, so I'm gonna want I'm gonna be using that space as kind of an entertainment area, or in, certainly in the summer, and I'm gonna most likely want the kitchen or the galley to be very close to there. I also um the other limitations are um the fact that the stove, this here ideally needs to be in the middle of the boat um well not maybe in the, in the middle but it, ideally it doesn't want to be at the end where quite typically you find them that's because 50 percent of the heat leaves straight out the boat um so you want it in the middle of the boat ideally i'm not going to use it for cooking although i might keep a pan warm on, warm on it so that's fine but the stove can only be well it can't be near a window these here are windows and these black ones here are hatches. So there's a window there, there's a window in the bathroom, there's a window there, window there, window there. So the only place a stove could be is either there, where there's a big gap with no window, or here between the stern and that hatch, where again, there's six foot with no window. But that is towards the back of the boat. You'll see this, the, the doors are offset, they're not in the center, so they're on the side of the boat, they're on the starboard side. So it mean the stove would be kind of in the way as you walk in, which is not ideal. I wouldn't want that. So the only place it can really go without moving the bathroom completely around would be to put it there, which works fine because it's in the middle of the boat and it forms part of my lounge dinette area, which is ideally where you'd want it to benefit max, you know, to, to, to get the maximum benefit from it. Um, so that's what that's and then here we're moving along through the boat we this is the dinette i'm going for an l-shaped dinette primarily for two reasons firstly it gives me a six foot uh, this is obviously a six by four foot dinette so it converts into a twin berth uh, which is a boat name for a double bed a small double bed but still double bed um primarily because it gives me a a um, permanent six foot basically comfortable bed bench whatever that you can just lounge out on crash out on chill out watch tv it also means i've got a 
four foot one here where again equally you can sit here facing out straight out to the hatch through onto the towpath which would be nice um, it also means that you have more capacity to have people around it than you would having a Pullman dinette where you've typically got one bench here, one bench here and a table there. The maximum you can have there is obviously five. With me, I've got kids, so I can obviously squeeze them in a bit, but it means I can have people around here. But it also means I can have a temporary chair here, here and here. Granted, the table will be a bit of a squeeze, but you can have those ones that over flap and this, that and the other. And then uh, there'll be some funky storage underneath there because this has got to be raised up. This has got to be on a platform so people can watch out and it gives you a better kind of viewing platform. Um, and then moving through the boat, um, this is going to be a walkthrough bathroom in so much as it's not, there's not going to be a wall along here, which is an off corridor bathroom. It's going to have, I mean, it's mostly just going to be me on the boat anyway, but when others are, certainly if they're not my kids, then you could easily, uh, the, the, this door will be invisible, so it will slide into the wall here if I've got the time to do it. If not, it'll just be on a hinge and we'll just flick up to there. That one's slightly measured incorrectly. Um, it, the, the end of the... Um, hatch is actually that line there but I just drew it incorrectly there so that's my limitation I didn't want the hatch halfway in the bar bathroom and halfway in the saloon um I wanted it to be all in the saloon so it means then the yeah, sliding door there and a sliding door between the bedroom and the bathroom there so you can have essentially a five foot by six foot bathroom so when you step out of the shower, you've got this whole space here to get dry and everything, which would be nice. I'll have a towel rail along here underneath the gunnel. So that's the idea there. It means I can fit in an 80 by 80 quadrant shower, which is ample. I'm going to go for a composting toilet. I wanted a, um, a nature's head toilet, but they're a thousand quid and I don't think my budget's going to quite stretch that far. But there'll be a toilet there and a wash hand basin there with storage above it. So that's really the layout of the kitchen and the um, dinette and everything like that. Um, trying to avoid the shadows, here we go. And then how I came to my plan about the actual kitchen um, was like this. So I started off working out the kind of space I have and these drawings aren't particularly good, so I apologize, but this is looking flush on. I need my controls up here uh, for the boat so as you step into the boat here as you step in there on the side of that panel there will be my controls and key and this and the other um, and then obviously those will be that'll just be a, a fascia you won't see anything there but inside obviously be the oven and whatever it is that's going there that's the window, so you'd obviously ideally want the sink, um, you know, in front of the window. That's where the stove is going to be. And then obviously on the side, looking straight on, the boat has that angle to it. And then you've got the gunnel. So I'm hoping, I'll just see if I've got the measurements right, that I can, that if I get a 50 or 500 mil wide unit here, so you can get an oven which is 500 mil wide, um, then this unit here will be 500 mil wide. So obviously that's a meter and there is a meter between that point there and that point there. And that's where the door line is going to be. Granted here, you can have more space, but above here, these will just have to be shelves because that, that will have to accommodate that angle coming in there. But it means I can have a work surface going all the way back. So I can have a two meter work surface. Granted, I have hobs on it, but that's ample, a two meter work surface. Um, I kind of drone, drawn that from above, ignore this lower bit here, but that's going to be the hobs, uh, that will be the fridge, there's the sink, that has to be a cupboard, the sink has to be there because obviously you have to be able to access that cupboard there, but that will be the entirety of the work surface going across there. And then that is going to be the tower, which will include the oven and the electrics right at the top. 
and that's looking kind of straight on. So I had that and then I drew it out uh, a little bit more. I can't work out the shadow, there we go. So I drew it out a little bit more. So I've got there um, the electric at the top and the oven there at waist height. So it's easy to get stuff out. Cupboard, cupboard, fridge, cupboard and hobs above there. And then the hobs are next to the stove. So you, as, as long as the pans are complementary, as it were, I can keep something warm on the stove, which would be good. And then that's looking from above. So you've got the electrics there. This area here, obviously you can't use some of it because it'll be on the angle. There's the sink, hobs and the stove. And then drew it out. I tried to get the perspective, but I can't really. Um, and it looks pretty weird on camera. Uh, maybe that's just the angle, I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's kind of what it looks like um, as a pretty awful um, artist's impression of what it's going to potentially look like. But then I, get, I can kind of get it in my head and kind of get my ideas around it there then. So uh, at least I know it fits and the stove, yeah, pointing at the totally the wrong way, but I want that angled into the boat. Um, certainly I want that kind of pointing to the, to the dinette. So going back to this one here, I want the stove to be pointing at the dinette and kind of pointing into the boat as opposed to face on like this. But then that will give me this whole area here. Okay, that'll be a table some of the time, but obviously that can collapse, bits come out and it turns into a bed, but it gives quite a big space, uh, which is really what I need for the kids is space for them to like run around or whatever. If I had units coming out of here and this, that and the other, it'd get in the way. Obviously there's a hatch here. You wanna be able to stand at the hatch so that's why um, that's why there's nothing kind of around there. But then it means I can have an area for a nice comfy chair or something and a TV or, or whatever. But I'm thinking I might have a projector and then just a, a screen somewhere or a uh, safe space. But anyway, that's, uh, that's the plan for the boat at the moment. So if anyone can see any lawful reason as to why these plans can't go ahead, then please comment below and uh, get in touch and give me your thoughts and feedback um i don't want to hear about the pullman dinette being better i've definitely made my mind up with the diet with the uh, l-shaped dinette but anything else definitely let me know i'm curious as to whether this is going to cause me a problem having the stove next to the hobs obviously i have a fireproof um barrier there but that's causing me a bit of a, a I'm, I'm doing some investigation into that at the moment, but that, those answers aren't particularly easy to come by. Um, so there we have it. That's the plan for the boat, as it were, as it is. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I will be back on the boat uh, probably tomorrow um, and see how that bitumen's going down. Um, in the meantime, uh, I wouldn't say you probably enjoyed this video. It's been dull in terms of uh, action, but Anyway, it is what it is. If you're wanting to follow a project, this is part of it. Um, or certainly this is the way I'm doing it. I'm sure there's uh, far more technical ways of doing things. Um, but thanks for watching, hope you're well. And please remember to subscribe if you would like to follow the narrowboat that James built. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye.